what's up guys so as you can see we're not in my home or my room recording this video this time we're in beautiful Elguna, egypt our first trip with three of us since we had our daughter and may in july last year now these are certainly memories that are made forever so i want to document them as good as i can most shots are taken from our hotel which has really beautiful architecture and then also the city feels very organic and pastel like in terms of colors my wife even says uh, it reminds her of Marrakesh a lot, so there's that. The weather is super nice, about 30 degrees Celsius. It's a bit windy today, so maybe you can pick that up. Um, because the audio is recorded straight into the camera, I didn't bring an external mic. So I ran the audio through the Adobe Podcast AI feature to clean it up. And this is what it sounds like without it. And this is what it sounds like with it and cleaned up. I don't even know if it's going to sound good because I haven't even used it yet, but I'm going to using this audio. So we'll see if it's any good. I want to update you guys on another Fuji recipe that I've been using all week here. And all the shots that I'm showing are, of course, as you might expect, straight out of the camera. This recipe is a lot like another recipe I showed you guys in a video about our trip to Portugal last year. Uh, it's one of my most viewed videos and you guys seem to really enjoy that recipe so you don't really completely change the winning formula i guess so it's got to be pretty similar but there are some key differences i'm going to show the settings on screen right now so if you want to pause and take a picture or write them down i suggest you do that right now so no classic chrome or no classic negative to start off this time we're going to be using nostalgic negative a film sim that is only used in the newer fujifilm cameras so i'm sorry for using an older model you're going to have to start with a different simulation. Nostalgic Negative is a really nice and warm film simulation, which is not too contrasty, which I like a lot. And to go along with that, we brought down the highlights and the shadows both to minus two, and we brought up the color to plus two. In terms of sharpness, I know that a lot of people turn down the sharpness on Fujifilm cameras in their recipes. Now, I don't really like doing that because I use a Cinebloom 10% um, filter which is kind of a black mist filter or um, a diffusion filter, if you will. And that will take care of any excessive sharpening in my eyes. So I leave that at zero because going down in sharpness along with the Cita Blue filter, it sometimes gives a little bit of a, um, a wax statue effect, which I don't really like. I like a little bit of that sharpness to come through, um, that quality to come through. So I leave that at zero and both color effects are on strong. White bells this time is on auto. Now this can cause some of the shots in certain bursts that you're shooting of a certain scene or a moment to be a little off because your white balance is always shifting and always adjusting. But I guess that's the way it is. You can always lock it off with the um, auto white balance lock button, but you always have to remind yourself to turn it on and off. And I just keep forgetting that. So I leave it at auto. And we shift that on a white mouse towards red and away from blue. That's about it. The rest of the settings are a bit less important. It can be copied as I've shown you. Now, another thing I want to talk about is overheating on my X-H2S. Now, I was walking around the hotel for about 30 minutes, just shooting some pictures and some short video clips here and there. And the overheating warning was showing up. Um, now, it didn't turn off. And I kept shooting for about another five minutes before I got back to our beds but it was showing and the camera was pretty hot. Now the temperature was about 30 degrees Celsius here. So it was high, but it was not astronomically high, I would say. So yeah, curious, it's, it's never happened to me before on the X-H2S, so this is the first time. And I guess it's something to be aware of for me in professional settings when it's um, in a hot climate or hot circumstances. And maybe for you, considering buying an X-H2S, it's also prone to overheating. You know, you have cameras like these at VE1 and, and other cameras like the A6700 or the ATS20, which are considered, you know, dangerous in terms of overheating. But um, yeah, this overheats too. It did turn off, but it, it showed me the warning. So I probably couldn't be shooting another 30 minutes shooting photos. So I'm a bit strange. So again, something to be aware of. That's it for me, guys. Enjoy your time with your family whether it's still your parents, your siblings, or your grandparents, or you already have a family of your all. Time flies, we would better make sure we soak up every second of it. Try out the recipe, let me know what you think, and take care.